song. It was a midlife crisis song, you know. I was mourning, uh, I don't know, I, I decided that I'd basically painted myself into a corner and several times over in my life. And I remember one time I decided that the reason after I started making records and being pretty successful that the reason that my wife had put all my possessions in my Cadillac and I was basically homeless just before Thanksgiving, I decided that rather than it being my fault and a direct consequence of my own behavior that the problem was that I just wasn't hitchhiking enough anymore. <laughs> several songs about that and this was I think the last one because I wrote this one around the time I was figuring it out. <laughs> As I got my life back and quit, uh, started taking more responsibility for my own actions, I started being more aware than I had been in years. Now keep in mind I grew up in the 60s and the 70s with the Vietnam War going on and I was not a candidate for a student deferment. And uh, a lot of my friends went, and some of them didn't come back. And I just got lucky. My lottery was the first one that didn't happen. So I was pretty political until I got to a point in my life where it was just all falling apart and it was all about me in all the worst kind of ways. Tiny world I created for myself. But when I got all of those obstacles out of the way, I discovered there was still a world out there. And I was at a point where I realized how lucky I was to be able to make a living doing something that I really love. Woo! And that what I probably needed to do was to find some way with what I was given to put something back. It's not that I think that, uh, I don't think Woody was a political songwriter. Uh, he was a songwriter that grew up in politically charged times. Woo! He was a really good songwriter. And he was a really literate songwriter in all the most important ways. Literally. <laughs> I don't know all this stuff going on in the world right now. I think if Woody was here, I don't know what he'd think about it. I, I do believe that he'd probably tell you one thing, and that is that music can change the world. Woo! Not just if you listen to it. Listening to music is great and it's important and it's good for you. But if you want to change the world with music, it is necessary that you sing. And you gotta sing loud. You gotta sing long. We sure could use Woody right now. Yeah! Christmas time in Washington Democrats rehearse Getting in the gear for four more years Things not getting worse Republicans drink whiskey and eat Thank their lucky stars They say cannot Another term, there'll be no more FDRs. I sit home in Tennessee, staring at the screen. An uneasy feeling in my chest, wondering what it means. Come on. So come back, would it got three? now tail wise from paradise rise again somehow if you run into Jesus maybe he can help you out come back who 
what he got to eat to us now. That's pretty good singing. Woo! Those of you that are singing. Those of you that aren't singing, sing or everybody will think you're Republicans. <laughs> if you are Republicans, everybody will know you were here. <laughs> Followed in footsteps once back in my traveling days. But somewhere I feel to find your trail. Now I'm stumbling too late. But there's killers on the highway now, and a man can't get around. So I sold my soul. Wheels that roll. Now I'm stuck here in this town. Come on, come, come back, back. Woody Guthrie. Yeah. Come back to us now. Three. Come back to us now. 